In this question, we are asked to find the value of angle Y. And line AB is parallel to line CD. And also AB is equal to BC. So they say find the size of the angle Y. From triangle CDE here, if you look, this angle, this angle, and this one are supposed to be equal to 180 degrees if you add them up together. So we can go ahead and name this angle here. Let's name it angle Z. So form the equation X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 degree. So let's keep the equation aside. But if you look from this equation here, we are to find the value of Y. But what is the value of X? We don't know what was the value of Z. If we look from here, there is no relation we can find used to find angle X immediately, but we can find the value of Z. Since they say line AB is parallel to line CD, this angle here must be equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles. So we can label this angle angle Q and write it down Q is equal to Z. But what's the value of Q here now? If you look since they say line AB is equal to line BC, that means this is an isosceles triangle and this angle here must be equal to this angle since it is the angle the two equal lines make with the non-equal line. That is angle Q is equal to 58 degree. So we can write it down. Since earlier we had Q is equal to Z, that means since Q, Z is also equal to 58 degree. So we have one of the variables, we are left with one. But if you look, line ACE here is a straight line. So that means this angle, this angle, and this one must be equal to 180 degree if you add them up. So you can also form the equation 58 degree here plus 3x plus 58 degree is equal to 180 degree. Collect the like terms. So we're going to have 3x plus 58 degree plus 58 degree is equal to 180. 58 plus 58 is 116. So 3x plus 116 is equal to 180. So we're going to have 3x is equal to 180 degree minus 116. Press the calculator. 3x is now equal to 64 degree. To find the exact value of x, we divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 64 degree by 3. Then press the calculator, x equal to 21.3 degree. So we find the value of x to be 21.3 and that of z to be 58 degree. Let's come back to our initial equation here that says x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degree. Substitute the value, so we're going to have 21.3 plus y plus 58 degrees equal to 180 degree. Collect the like terms and add them up to so y plus 79.3 is equal to 180 degree find the value of y now we subtract 79 degree 79.3 degree from both sides so y is equal to 180 degree minus 79.3 degree so y is equal to 100.7 so approximately the size of angle y is equal to 101 degree simple answer it for y